My name is Haven Tisfemeriam and I work for housekeeping manager at the Merit Mark in Washington, D.C. I was born in Ethiopia, but my parents are originally from Eritrea. When I was in Eritrea, I wasn't able to complete high school due to the government. You had to be a, a military before you actually complete your high school, and I do not believe in war. So I wanted to go back to Ethiopia, where I was born, but then I found out due to the war, my status changed from a citizen to a refugee. When she was in the refugee camp in Ethiopia, at 16 years old, her education stopped and was put on halt. So she knew when she came here, if she was gonna be successful, that she needed to uh, embrace an education opportunity. But she also needed to send money home to her family. Um, so she started working through Goodwill, doing some training courses with them. And it was through doing Goodwill that she had an interaction with uh, somebody from Marriott Corporate. And they recognized her and were drawn to her because of her smile. And so she ended up being a charter member of our hotel and has been a, an amazing success story since the moment she walked through the doors. So I started uh, five years ago at the front desk as a GER, guest experience representative. Then I transferred to housekeeping administrator. And then also I transferred to uh, FMB as amenity coordinator. Then I went back to housekeeping as a housekeeping manager. And so they're older women and they clean about 16 rooms every day. Still they laugh, still they, they're so happy when they leave. They tell you, good night, mommy. And so they teach me there is not, no reason for me to be sad. They do the hard work, yet they're always happy. They provide for their family, even though the job requires much physical work. And so I learn a lot from them to be strong in life and also to see the positive in everything. So the way that she approaches individuals, the way that she uh, touches their lives in regards to um, being so positive and having a positive outcome about life, that has a ripple effect in our hotel. Talking about a young lady that has grown over the last two or three years to be even stronger and, and more compassionate than you could ever imagine. So last year, um, Haven was able to bring her father over to join her here in the U.S. Uh, she hadn't seen him since she was 16 years old, so that had been 11 years at that stage that she hadn't seen her father. And the great news is, it's another Marriott success story that you know, he came and he's joined our company, he's working in our stewarding department. He's one of the most reliable members of the team, and he's just so grateful to be here every day. And it's, it's wonderful to see the dynamic between Haven and her father. He's now working with her, to be able to bring the rest of the family over. Um, so it's a team effort now. I remember when my dad came to Washington, D.C., a Dallas airport after 11 years. I froze. I just couldn't walk. My legs gave up on me. I, I just couldn't believe it. I never thought I would see him. It's been so long, you know? Can I have any of them? I just know Haven has a very long future and a successful future with our company because her personal values so well align with the values of our company. I wish her luck. So life is not always easy. Um, it gives you different obstacles, but it's up to you how you want to win it. A lot of people call it American dreams. And so I believe I am living it. And um, I'm very thankful and I, I'm very blessed.